This is Dr. Corey Glenn, and I was just going to take a minute to show you some of the benefits of using uh, fully guided surgery to do mini implants. You know, traditionally, mini implants are thought of as something that you just feel the bone and that you place it flapless through that. And I would say there's a lot of risk with doing that. You don't know where the nerve is. You don't know if you're going to be within the confines of the bone. And so I want to show some of the benefits to actually doing these fully guided. And it can be done very uh, affordably as well. So we have this patient that uh, has an indentulous mandible. We've already got the nerves mapped. And one of the cool things that you can do is you can actually turn on the patient's tissue surface. So you can integrate in their tissue model. And you can also integrate in where the patient's current denture is. So this patient was scanned with her denture. And now we can actually see exactly where the tooth positions are. So that's very helpful because we're going to be planting some implants. I've already done that. If we turn these implants on, these implants have, des have been designed to be perfectly parallel with one another. Uh, we all know that you know the denture housings are going to hold up a whole lot longer if the housings are parallel, they're not off axis, uh, wearing your attachments prematurely. So these are all 100% parallel and they've been designed to emerge in the best position through the denture. If we turn on the outlines, we can actually look at this in cross-section implant by implant. So if we look at this implant, we see that we're emerging through incisal edge area. Uh, as we go on down the list, these are all of the five implants. Now another thing that you can do is you can actually turn on um, actual abutments. So these are Blue Sky Bio 3 uh, millimeter mini implants, the Biomax line. And these have a normal prosthetic connection. So if you wanted, you could put a typical uh, locator type abutment on there. And you can even visualize where the prosthetic housing is going to end up in that. Because as we all know, sometimes you can place these and the housing ends up, you know, perforating through the denture and then you end up having to move that around. But with doing this, we can actually position the implants such that um, we know that the prosthetic housing is going to be within the confines of the denture, as you see right here. Uh, so even with the housings, we're not going to have any perforations of the, the implant housing through the denture. Um, the other thing that we can uh, look at is that we can actually stay clear of the nerves. So as we know, it's very important to get AP spread on these to stabilize the denture. Uh, but we run up against the problem of the mental foramen. We don't want to get uh, involved in that. So by doing this fully guided, we can know exactly where the mental nerve is. And we can actually plan our positioning to avoid that. So if I turn these surfaces off again, and if we turn the jaw off, we can actually look at this and see that we've got a good margin of safety from the mental nerves. So we don't have to worry about causing any numbness in this patient and we know that we've gotten the absolute most AP spread that we can possibly get. And finally, uh, another benefit that we can do is we can actually make this be a fully guided case. So if we turn off those abutments, we can actually create a surgical guide, which is going to put us in the exact position that we've planned on this case. So this is built on the soft tissue model. You could have this guide 3D printed. And this guide is going to actually put you in the exact position that you need to be. So the surgery would be extremely simple. It would be a single drill protocol in each site. You would seat this denture in the mouth and hold it down good and stable. And then you would sink a, a single drill uh, to full depth on each one of these sites. And so it would be boom, 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 boom. Um, very quick procedure. Very atraumatic. You could do this flapless if you so chose. Um, again, we can see exactly where these implants emerge through the tissue. And so this would be very easy to do a flapless procedure. So there's a lot of benefits to doing this fully guided, and it is not a very expensive process. Once you've planned this in the software, you can have a guide printed for approximately $60 uh, total, which is going to more than make up for itself in the cost of 
uh, time savings and knowing that you're going to not be changing housings forever because you're wearing them out prematurely with implants that aren't on the same axis. So I hope that helps. I hope you see some of the benefits of using uh, fully guided stents with your mini implants.